Angelo, that just in that fourth quarter, as you started to really get rolling, what was kind of what was the feeling in your mind, and like just how how are you letting that game come to you there? Exactly that, letting the game come to me. Um, some killers out there, man. So every time I can spot up shooter or a cutter or a screener, I think that you know, allows the game to be easier for myself. I'm trying to think the game as much as I can, so. The games come that do it for me, it just makes it that easier. Did you feel kind of the intensity start to kind of pick up maybe even into the third quarter as uh both teams kind of got into the game after the break? And I mean, do you I guess do you like that kind of a, an intense physical matchup against those guys? I think our fans made it intense. I don't think um, us playing the Grizzlies made it intense. I think our fans and they were up and loud and excited the whole game and we felt that energy and, and, and we felt it to, to our own, you know, so giving credit to the fans once again. Were you extra determined to get to the rim today or was that, again, one of those things that just presented it? I just played and I don't make my mind up going into the game or anything like that. So, um, like I said, I work, work on, you know, getting to the rim, so, so, trying to score from every level. So if that's what the game presents, I'm trying to take advantage of it. Coach was talking about how, because they were dropping on you, that that presented. That's what it presented tonight. Was 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 your shot there? And he's talking about how that's that's something you can really exploit. What is what is that process like for you? If you know the big is dropping back every time. Like I said, we got killers, man. We got you know, we got to come into the game with a heavy scout report on Carl. You know that that forces me and Ant to get in where we fit in, and then you got to. Really respect that for getting into the game and being able to explode at any moment. I try to you know, do the same for myself and, and put the pressure on the defense. Can't, can't stop all of us. You know, I think it's the hardest thing for any team is to stop all two of them. So if something's not working, we see the you know the next the next plan working and we just try to keep it keep exploiting that and continue to exploit it. And tonight was that I think. Did a good job of making us play in between the big, like you said, in a drop. Shooting big, like Cat is popping, or of his caliber that just can score from anywhere. It's hard to do that consistently. So, it's everybody just being, you know, aggressive tonight. Pinch had said you guys needed to close games better. Um, that had been two of the losses to Memphis came down to not closing. You did close tonight. What do you think is the difference um, in the performances where maybe you do close a game on versus when you don't? Uh, I think clock management at times, um, clock management at times, and uh, shot selection. At the end of the game, I think that's where we, you know, value the ball, get the best shot, and you know, find its way to the right person. I think throughout the game, you know, some of the games we lost this year, we just didn't have any continuity to what we were trying to do. Uh, ended in an ISO or a uh, Tough shot, so just get into stuff earlier sometimes help too, or what do we say? Like you guys, like you said, like almost ran out of time, and it leads to like an isolation. Yeah, like, yeah. So just get stuff going earlier. So yeah, like, of course. Good pace flow. too, pace too. Coach Harms on pace at the end of the game. How well our pace is throughout the game, and then how it drops off through the, um, the through the flow of the game, especially when it gets down to the crunch. So us trying to prioritize getting stopped in the rebound and pushing it is is also tough to guard in the crunch as well. On a night like tonight, when, when Carl was in foul trouble the second half, Ants didn't have a shot. They were focusing in on him a lot. Do you, do you have a feel for the moment that this is my moment to, to, to try and take over to, to really score and, and give a lift to the team, and then, especially early in the fourth quarter after Carl goes out? I never look at it like that. I look at it more or less like the group that I had and those two are off the floor. You know, how can I take advantage of that group if it's uh, – I got shooters around and trying to get the shooters involved. If it's dynamic rollers like Nas around and a bando next to him, <laughs> trying to move more pick and rolls. So um, I'm just always trying to you know, quarterback the game within myself. I'm um, trying to be as valuable as I can. You know, um, when adversity may set in and things like that, I think that's where I try to you know, capitalize on what I bring to the table. So it's never me. I'm never thinking of how can I dominate just more or less? How can I keep this unit alive? You know, um, 
when maybe the other team may have a, a dominant group out there that is looking at us like we're about to take advantage of this group. So just trying to keep that uh, that confidence in whatever group I have next to me. Dilo, what, what did you think of Ant being able to affect the game in other ways when he wasn't hitting the shot? The defense he played on draw, the, the seven assists, just finding a young guy finding a way to impact the game when he's not scoring 25 or 30. Yeah, I think um, I think he's got to get used to that. You know, teams, like I said, focusing in on it, making sure Ant Edwards doesn't get off on us tonight and finding a way to just keep this game simple, make the simple play. He's still capable of shooting 20 free throws when he's not making shots. So just knowing that, realizing it, and also not getting too down. I've seen him put up shots today after. I mean, that's just a sign of greatness right there. Knowing that we got to get more on, can bounce back and go for 50. So it's a confidence thing, something he doesn't lack, but um, definitely something he's got to prepare for in the future, knowing that teams are you know, focusing on it. He said watching you in the fourth reminded him of himself. So there's confidence there, I think. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you mentioned there's a game tomorrow night um, with James Harden making his debut with, with Philadelphia. What do you anticipate in that matchup tomorrow? First look at him and Embiid. What do you anticipate in a game like that tomorrow? They got to worry about us. That's what I anticipate. They got to guard us. They got to stop us. They got to scout for us. Not worry about them. Do you feel like this team is being – is getting the respect it deserves by this point with the way you guys have played this year. I don't care. Honestly, I don't I don't even my mind doesn't it work like that. So we'll go last question to Christos on the Zoom. Hey D Low, great game first of all. Uh speaking about your game this season, do how the confidence that your teammates have to you help you to maximize your effort and be and make some of the of some great games this season. From your perspective, how how you see that confidence that your teammates have to you? See, I have some confidence, but like the confidence your teammates have in you, like how has that affected your game this season? Uh, I mean, I just try to show up and be a pro every day. You know, I try to lead by example and do the things that uh, just require, require being a lead by example guy. Uh, Try to talk less and just lead by example, and hopefully it's it's contagious because you know the younger you are in the league, <clears throat> the more you pick up bad habits and things like that. So trying to be a guy that guys can pick up good habits off of, and when you look up, the the the, the seasons have almost finished. You know, just because you you locked into your your craft, you locked into your routine. Um, you have good games, you don't get too high. You have bad games, you don't get too low one game at a time type of mentality. I just try to keep that throughout the season and hopefully guys pick up on it and uh, and try to have that mentality as well. Thanks, Elo. Thanks, Elo. Thanks, Elo. Thanks, Elo. Thanks, Elo. Thanks, Elo.